Let us pray the prayer that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. this time we turn to a litany for dwelling in the word and sister congregations our synod council was planning to introduce resolutions to the 2020 synod assembly that would have launched several synod-wide initiatives to deepen our our faith and enhance our mission and ministry together in christ's name the COVID-19 pandemic has pushed Senate Assembly action off until June of 2021. So let's take a look at two of the resolutions. The first resolution is called Dwelling in the Word. Congregations are urged to begin council meetings, committee meetings, and Bible studies by listening and reflecting on a Bible reading. From June through August of 2020, Philippians chapter 4, verses 2 through 9, will be read twice. And then these three questions will be asked. What captures my attention? What questions do I have? And where might God's Spirit be nudging us? The word dwell is used frequently in scripture and means to live or remain somewhere or with someone for a time. The purpose of dwelling in the word is to give ourselves the opportunity to be present with God's living word so that our thoughts and questions of God's word form and shape our faith and our daily living. It is always amazing to me how the same scripture reading can be read at different times of the day and on different days and take on a different meaning each time it is read. The second resolution is a sister congregation initiative. Each congregation, or in our case, each parish, has randomly been assigned a sister congregation in our synod. Servants United Parish has been paired with Lutheran Church of the Redeemer in Centralia. We would like to have at least one person, at least one person, from each of our parish congregations serve on a liaison committee to develop a relationship with our sister congregation. We may want to worship together in person or online, create a video greeting for one another, join each other's Facebook page, participate in dwelling in the word together, organize pen pals, send cards, or plan some fun events together. This is a great opportunity to build relationships within our synod and to be able to use our creativity to just have a good time. 
At this time, we ask for God's blessings and guidance as we begin working on these two resolutions. The following liturgy was written by Pastor Richard Hertenstein, the Dean of the Northwest Conference. Called and gathered by the Holy Spirit to be disciples of Christ in the Central Southern Illinois Synod, we are shaped by God's Word and live in ways that build up the body of Christ and our sister congregations. We proclaim, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the Word was life, and the life was the light of all people. The Word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. As we dwell in your word, O Lord, let it give light within us. As we dwell in your word, O Lord, open our hearts and minds to your spirit. As we dwell in your word, O Lord, guide our imaginations and thoughts. As we dwell in your word, O Lord, help us hear one another. As we dwell in your word, O Lord, Build in us our faith. We are ascended serving you, O Lord. We seek to know each other better and better. We are ascended serving you, O Lord. Guide us in sharing your word with each other. We are ascended serving you, O Lord. Help us know our partners as we dwell in your word. As together we dwell in your word, O Lord. Help us to grow in faith, love, and partnership with our sister congregation, Lutheran Church of the Redeemer in Centralia, Illinois. As together we dwell in your word, O Lord, renew all our congregations with your Holy Spirit. O Word of God incarnate, as we dwell in your word through this coming year, Draw us closer to you and give us hearts open to your Spirit's movement. Lead us as your people, united across our congregations, conferences, and synod. Guide us and our sister congregations in service and dedication to letting your word grow and be active in us. In your name we pray. Amen. Receive the blessing. Neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor debt, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. God the Creator. Jesus the Christ, and the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, bless you and keep you in eternal love. Amen. Our sending song is, I Love to Tell the Story, by the Nashville Gospel Singers. Feel free to join in and sing along.
Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God.